Um, I, I just want to say, uh, first of all, um, uh, the, this book is great. I mean, um, there's really nothing like it right now. Um, like the, the, the kind of um, uh, uh, breadth of um, research you bring to bear on the subject. Um, and, and, and not only that, uh, you, you just, um, the way you write, like you, you, you write like you're um, like a novelist. It's, it's great, you know. Um, so it's, it's both uh, sort of academically rigorous, but also just well-written. Um, really appreciate okay, that. Well, thank you. Really glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, well, um, I, I have a couple of questions. Uh, so um, first one. Um, so, you know, the, the, the historic dec uh, decriminalization of drugs um, uh, that we're seeing, for example, in places like Oregon, um, mm -hmm. Washington State, um, you know, all, all of these um, states, uh, and, and they, they've happened recently. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, this uh, it, it feels to me like a very positive development, um, but it also feels like a way station, a stage on the way to something else. I think yeah. the trouble with um, decriminalization is it uh, solves some problems, but um, it's potentially kind of the worst of both worlds because what you're doing is you're allowing the sort of, uh, um, you know, the, the markets to flourish, but you're not legalizing the market so it's kind of a, a a carte blanche for the sort of criminal suppliers so my sense is that this is great but ultimately you need to move towards uh, legal regulation of supply as well as of consumption mm 